I had not been feeling well for several weeks, had been back and forth to the doctors at the NMED campus, and they were treating me for actually a urinary tract infection. Went home after the lab work, and then got the call, get to the emergency room immediately, your blood sugar is 1,033. And I was in the hospital for five days with this, this very high blood sugar. And thanks to the diabetic people there and the, the, the staff, they were able to get me on the right track. I've been told since then that a person with diabetes that high usually goes into a diabetic coma and they either don't come out of it, they just die in the diabetic coma. So yes, this definitely saved my life. I pretty much was proactive in this, the whole dynamic of what was going on because I, I started to urinate consistently. And I said, okay, and I had a scheduled appointment with my MP anyway. And so I shared with her what was going on. And she says, I, I told her, I think I know what's taking place here, but I'm here to find out for sure. So I have a scheduled visit. And my sugar at that point was 475, yeah. And so of course it confirmed the obvious. And so at that point, put me on a regimen of uh, metformin. And uh, I take one pill a day, and now my blood sugar runs right around 97 to 116 on a bad day. I was diagnosed in 2014. My doctor was doing blood work, and you know, they do the blood work every so often, and she let me know I was, I think she called it pre diabetes or something like that. And boy, I tell you, <laughs> I died so those phone calls. You know, they call you back when they give you blood tests. And I dreaded it. I just had a feeling that that's what they were going to say. When you are faced with uh, diabetes, that wakes you up. And I was not a healthy eater. And this actually was probably one of the best things that's ever happened to my life. I can truthfully say I feel healthier than I have felt in so many years, I couldn't tell you. I was scheduled for the three classes that I came to, and uh, at that point, that was pretty much it. It was a great educational journey. The informational pieces are the things that made me become more conscious of uh, carbs. I mean, I've always known about carbs, but the ones that I would really get cut out were the simple carbs that are fast absorbing. So, and that was my biggest thing. I just did what I needed to do to put myself back on track. Well, Thomasina and Karen, they were very informational and interactive and they allowed us to be that way uh, during the sessions that I attended. Uh, they made it very fun, even though it was great information moving forward. And the key thing that I walked away with is just uh, being more conscious of the intake of what the carbs that I was absorbing, because I really wasn't never a drink person that drinks soda, so that wasn't an issue with me. It was just the carbs that I was ingesting. You can eat. People say you can't eat any of this, any of that. You, it's in moderation. That's my biggest takeaway. How to eat right and uh, what, what some of the things not to do, some of the foods to avoid. Well, I signed up for the classes as soon as I was able to come. She just explained everything so well to me, both Thomasina and uh, Karen, they explained things and had the little food things that we could actually see what a portion looked like. That helped me to recognize what was okay for me to eat and what was definitely a no-no. And to the person that really buys into it, it will help them. I try to encourage everyone I know and in my family and friends to uh, take classes like this. Being around other people that have diabetes in the class and to hear their stories helped a lot too. Just knowing that you're not alone, that you've got a support staff through ANMED diabetic classes and also being around the other diabetics and just sharing. So yes, I would definitely recommend anybody that's been recently diagnosed with diabetes to come to the classes.